Hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this lesson, lesson 10, I will explain you the range loop. It needed to iterate over elements in a collection. Let's start. The range loop is a type of loop in Golang. It's used to iterate over elements in a collection, such as for example an array or a map. Here is the syntax of a range loop in Golang. We have to use the keyword for, followed by two variables, the key and the value. Then iPhone, then we need to put the keyword range, and then the collection. Open and close parentheses, and inside the for, of course, the code to be executed. The range loop iterates over the elements inside the collection and assign the key and value of each element to the key and value variables that we define. Inside the loop, you can use the key and value variables to access the element inside the collection. Let's write some examples. In the first example, we are going to iterate over the elements inside an array. Let's define the collection with the name numbers and this collection will be an array of integer and then initialize this array with the value from 1 to 5. Here we are going to replace with the numbers and then we are going also to rename the key with index and the value with number. Inside the for loop we are going just to print the index so the position of the number and the number so in this case fmt dot println index and number. In this example, the range loop iterates over the elements inside the numbers array. The variable index is the index of the current element and number is the value of the current element. Let's test our code. Open the terminal and type go run main.go. In the console, we can see the output meaning that the key and the value that the loop iterates over the collection. The key is the index, the index of the current element, and the number is the value of the current element. We can also use the range loop to iterate over the keys and values inside a map. Let's write an example. Instead of an array of integer, we're going to create a map. Let's rename the numbers collection with the colors because we are going to create a map of string string and then we're going to put the color red green and blue the key will be the name of the color and the value will be the hex code perfect now inside the loop we are going to change numbers with colors and we're going also to rename the index and number. Index will be the color, the color name, and the number will be the HIX code. Perfect. Let's test it. Let's open the terminal. And again, type go run main.go. Perfect. In this example, the range loop iterates over the keys and value inside the colors map. The variable color is the key of the current element and the variable hix is the value of the current element. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and you now have a better understanding of how to use the range loop in Golang. In the next lesson, I will explain to you how to implement the while loop in Golang to repeat a block of code as long as a certain condition is met. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.